Greetings one and all. Welcome back to my kitchen here today where I'm going to be making something quite special I reckon. I'm going to be making a Sri Lankan dish. It's a mango curry and I'm going to be making it with these green sort of mangoes and I'm not sure what you call them in Sri Lanka in South India they're called Totapuri mangoes and that's I think Totapuri don't quote me on this but I think it means bird's beak they're quite long sort of like a bird's beak but yeah like I say I don't really know what they're called in Sri Lanka uh, I think they call them just something like raw mangoes something like that anyway um, just a tip if you're buying these in Australia I had to go to our local fresh food markets they're under sour mango is how they're labeled alrighty so the first thing I need to do is um, we're actually gonna cook these skin and all but I do want to give them a good wash and any of these sort of blemish bits like this that aren't gonna taste very good I'm just gonna slice them off as well but basically all this skin we're just gonna leave on and obviously I'm gonna take the seed out as well so I'll probably just cut them into quarters, like so, down here, across there, and get rid of the seed. Alright, I'll get on with that and get back to you. Alrighty guys, so I've sliced up my mango flesh there, uh, into fairly large sort of portions, like so, some sort of a bit squarer, a bit smaller, just best you can, like I say, I didn't peel them. Uh, now, just... A little point here, these mangoes that I brought, even though they were green on the outside, are a little bit softer than what I was hoping. I would have liked if they were like a bit harder. Uh, I've tasted one and they've still got that sourness in it that I'm after, but they're not quite as sour as what I wanted. So usually at the end of this recipe, we add quite a bit of sugar to sort of get that sweet sour effect. I won't be adding quite as much sugar as I usually would because these aren't quite as sour. All right. Now, first of all, I'm just going to marinate these for a little while, while we, and then we'll get on with the rest of it. So I've just got a couple of teaspoons of turmeric powder and I'll just sprinkle that over. I'll just put a little bit aside for a minute because we'll mix that up. And I've also got a couple of tablespoons of some curry powder that I've actually roasted and again I won't use it all yet I'll give it a little bit of a mix and then I'll put the rest in so to do that we're just going to gently use our clean hands and just mix it around and get the rest of our powders in there and that'll do us I'll just put that aside for now alrighty guys so I've just got my wok heating up here with a um, couple of tablespoons of coconut oil and it's getting a bit smoky. I'm just going to turn it down a little bit. And to that, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of mustard seeds and a teaspoon of fenugreek seeds. I've also got three cardamom pods. I've just sort of given a bit of a bash with the back of the knife. I've got a cinnamon quill here. I'm just going to break it in half. Drop that in. I've got a sprig of uh, curry leaves. Whoa. And I'll just let them go for a half a minute. Alright, that's smelling great. So the next thing I've got in here, I've just got a small onion that I've just chopped. 
I've got a couple of green chilies that I've just sliced, and a couple of garlic cloves. And I'll turn that heat down again just so as not to burn the garlic. And you just want to soften those onions and continue flavouring that oil up a bit. And then that smells good. Unbelievable. Once that's been going for a couple of minutes, the next thing I've got here is I've got two more teaspoons of my curry powder. This time I haven't roasted it. And I've got two teaspoons of chilli powder. Just sprinkle that over. Once you've cooked those powders out a bit, I'm going to add a little bit of water to that, maybe a third of a cup or so. A little bit more. Next I'm going to add in my uh, mangoes, my sour mangoes that have been marinating and I'm just going to gently lower them in. And give them a stir through. Next I've got a third of a cup of coconut milk. Stir it through again. I'm going to add in another cup of water or so. Get it back to the boil and then just get it down to a low simmer for about 15 minutes. Alrighty, guys, so in the kitchen, you've always got to um, be a dap and uh, yeah flexible in your planning so what I've done because those mangoes were a little bit softer than I'd hoped for to start with I've actually got a slotted spoon and I've just pulled them out of that mixture for now and just put them back in my bowl there I'm just put, leave, gonna leave them aside I was just worried I want to reduce this um, uh, sauce a bit more so I'm just gonna put that back on high uh, if I can find the right button, there we go. And also, I forgot to do this at the start. Again, full disclosure, I've got a couple of pandan leaves that I've just tied in a knot uh, to flavour this sauce with, um, and we'll fish them out at the end. So it's actually worked out well because while I'm reducing that, I can have them. In that sauce in that gravy giving it that flavor i wanted anyway so yeah i'll just reduce that for i don't know till it's down to about half of that so have a long that takes i can do that on a high without that mango in it that's what i was worried about if i turn it up too high 
my mangoes would start disintegrating. So, we'll see how we go. Alrighty guys, so yeah, it's been about 10 minutes. That sauce has been bubbling away quite profusely. So we're just, yeah, concentrating those flavors a bit. Then it reduced down and it has reduced quite a bit. So at this stage, just for the last couple more minutes of boiling, I'm going to add now, like I said, I was going to add three tablespoons of sugar to that, but because those mangoes are all slightly less sour than what I expected and there is a little bit of sweetness in them I'm only going to add probably just about a heat teaspoon of brown sugar and we'll just stir that in and of course I'm going to taste it Yeah, I think that's just, like it's not sweet, sweet. And I think in Sri Lanka they like this dish quite sweet, but I'm not going too far. What I will add also, it's just a good pinch of salt. That actually tastes really, really good, by the way. <laughs> I'm gonna put my mangoes back in here just to heat them through again, although they're still pretty warm. Get all their juices in. Just gently mix them into that liquid again. And they're quite soft now. That's getting really close to how I want it. Just give that another minute or two to heat through. And we'll call that done. Alrighty guys, so I've served up a plate here, as you saw, of my um, mango curry. It's looking delicious. I've just served it with some rice. I've got plenty of that sauce all over it. And I'm just going to try a piece. So yeah, I'll just get a bit of that sauce on. Let's see if you can um, focus in it. Boo! It is nice and soft. I mean that just looks like a piece of mango but it's definitely cooked, it's nice and soft as you saw. Mm. Man, that is absolutely yum. That's quite spicy. And it's got that sour and sweetness. Um, oh boy, that's really, really good. <laughs> All right. I'm going to sit down and eat the rest of that before it gets cold. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. What I might do is... Um, I've made so much of this, I might make up a takeaway container and um, take it over to my neighbours because... Um, yeah, they're actually... Their country of origin is Sri Lanka. And I don't know if some of you might have seen my 
Wetalapan, that Sri Lankan dessert video. If not, I'll put a link to it shortly. Alright, uh, thanks for watching, as I said. Uh, thanks to those who subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, can I just ask that you hit that subscribe button? I'd really appreciate it. If you don't want to, no worries. And I will see you all next time.